Let's start with our legs and feet about shoulder width apart. Knees are soft, spine is long, shoulders are relaxed, and we move from the waist to the right and the left for knocking on the door of life. As you move from the center of your body, you're just going to allow your arms to swing. And at the very last moment, the elbows bend and you lock, knock along key pressure points in your low back and in your abdomen. The points along the back are for energy and vitality. So you're giving your body a little boost of energy right now. Relax your shoulders. Gaze over your shoulder if you're comfortable doing so. Or you can keep your gaze forward, whatever's fine, whatever works for you. Some people get dizzy when they turn their head. Now let's bring that front arm forward. Soft fist taps on the corner of your chest, just below your collarbone. Opening up the, the lungs. Bringing a little energy to your lungs and your respiratory system. Good, open the palm of your hand and tap on the top of your shoulder, base of your neck. Releasing lines of tension in your neck and shoulders, upper back. Did you know that where you're tapping those points there along the shoulder are great for relieving tension as well as headaches. Let's go back down to the chest again. And then wrap your arms around your abdomen and low back. You can go a little bit further in your rotation, look a little bit more over the shoulder. Now take a deep breath with me. And as you exhale, we're gonna just drop into water waves. So for water waves, we no longer knock along the body. The arms just spiral around the body in the front and in the back. Gently pushing away mental stress. So sometimes the mind just, sometimes, most of the time, the mind just goes and goes and goes. We often focus on things we may be worried about. So this is a great exercise to do to help release some of those worries. Hmm, draw your focus to the present moment. Because this is where we hold our power, right? Right here, right now. So in this moment, your feet are flat on the ground, grounding you to the earth, connecting you to Mother Earth. And you're standing on strong legs and strong hips. Just feel how the spine opens up in this rotation and the shoulders and the arms and the hands glide through space. Feel the air against your arms and moving through your fingers. The whole body opening up becoming more receptive and encouraging the circulation of healing energy. Take a deep breath and as you exhale, slowly unwind, slowly unwind, slowly unwind, slowly unwind. Slowly unwind. Until you come to a point of stillness. Just allow your body to gently unwind in a time that is true to you and your energy right here, right now. 
lately I've loved what it feels like for my body to slowly unwind, especially after rotating the spine. Just allow my energy within me to move me. Okay. So speaking of the spine, let's do some more exercises to invigorate it. So spinal cord breathing. So the knees are soft as we lift our arms. And then we draw the arms back, open the chest, open the front of the body. Let's open the palms of the hands. Let's receive energy. Take a deep breath. Exhale as you draw the arms forward, round your spine, make soft fists, draw your arms forward, bow your head, look towards your belly. Exhale, all the breath out. Inhale, draw the elbows back, open your chest. And exhale. So as you do this, I'd like for you to Coordinate your movement with your breath. Take your time. And try to keep your shoulders directly over your hips throughout. Try not to bend forward like this. I see a lot of people do this sometimes, right? So elbows back, open the chest, arms forward, round the spine. So we're opening the front of the spine, the back of the spine. Pouring fresh energy into the spine and the central nervous system. Let's do three more. Last time. And float your arms down and stand tall. Okay. So now we're going to do an exercise called dog wags its tail, taking the spine in lateral flexion. So we'll just do a simple stretch. You're gonna just side bend over to one side. So now I'm stretching out the right side of my torso and then stand tall, and then side bend over to the other side, just to feel that range of motion. And stand tall. And did you notice one side being tighter than the other? It's a good thing to just take note of. So if dog wax his tail, the movement is smaller. So we're gonna shift from side to side, rocking from side to side. And as we rock from side to side, we just allow the shoulders to relax, arms to relax. And just moving the spine through this motion. Make sure that you try to just move side to side. Try not to rotate the spine at all. I like to imagine that I'm standing between two panes of glass, one in front of me, one behind me. And they're very close and I'm trying not to bump up against either pane of glass. And you can go a little faster if you'd like. Or you can go a little bit slower. Take your time, make it real slow and juicy. Good, returning to a place in the middle in terms of rhythm. And then slow it down, slow it down until you come to a point of stillness. <sighs> So now we're gonna do a fun cleansing and clearing exercise borrowed from the five animal frolics practice. This one is monkey washes its fruit. So they, we have the arms down by the sides of the body, and the palms face the earth, the fingers are spread, and we just shake out the hands, 
wrists, elbows, shoulders. Nice continuous breath. And then we stop shaking. And then we bring the fingers to touch when we make little fists with the hands, soft like gathering of the fists and hands. And we lift them up the front of the body. And as we lift the arms up the front of the body, we lift the heels away from the ground. Once the arms are at the level of the shoulders, you stop and just turn your head and look to the right. And look forward. And then look to the left. And look forward. And slowly lower the heels down, lower the arms down. And let's wash some fruit. So let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through your mouth with the ha sound. Ha. It's the sound for the heart. Ha. Good. And then we lift the arms, we lift the heels, we lift all the way up, 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 up. Find your balance. Now look to the, your left first and look forward. Look to your right and look forward and slowly float the arms down. And again. So releasing out any tension in the heart space, any difficult emotions. And then we lift the arms, we lift the heels. Good, look to the right, forward, left, forward, and lower down. One more time. And then we lift up, 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 up. And now we look to the left first. And forward. And then to the right. And forward. And then lower down. Good. Shake out your legs. So not only is that a great cleansing and clearing exercise, it's a great strengthener for your legs and feet too helps us with balance as well. So we're gonna open the legs and feet wider than your shoulders. And we're gonna do an exercise called the archer. So keeping my left foot where it is, toes pointing forward, I'm gonna rotate my right leg. Toes are gonna to point towards that wall to the right. And then I'm gonna bend my right knee, making sure that my knee doesn't go past my toes. Hips are nice and open. And then I reach the arms out. So you might recognize this. this is kind of like a warrior exercise in yoga. So from here, I look at this back arm. This back arm represents the past. So can we look towards the past, not with any shame or regret? Look at the past as an opportunity to gather wisdom, wisdom that we can take with us to the future. So this front arm represents the future full of potential of hope, opportunity. So we wanna bridge the future with the past, the wisdom of the past with the future. Okay, good. Now from here, we're going to allow the palms to face up. I'm gonna take this back arm and I'm gonna bring it around to the front arm. Palms are gonna to touch. And then I'm gonna straighten that front leg, keep my front arm reaching forward and this back arm is going to bend and pull as if I'm pulling on the strings of a bow and arrow, setting my sights on what it is that I want to create in the future, right? This creative time, this time of spring, creation, uh, growth, expansion. And then I extend the arm back, knee, front knee bends, palms face down. Good. So now I'm going to palms face up, take an inhale bringing the wisdom of the past into the future. Exhale. 
Inhale, straighten that front leg, pulling back. Exhale. And then inhale. Good. Palms face forward, thumbs up, reaching around. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And again. And notice I try to keep my shoulders right over my hips the whole time. One last time. So now I'm going to turn the toes to point forward. I'm going to bring my hands to the heart, soften the chest. I take a deep breath in as the arms reach out, open the chest, open the heart space. And then exhale, draw the palms to touch, soften the chest. Again. One more time. Now let's take the left leg, rotate it out, bend your left leg, arms reach forward and back. So standing tall in the present, right? Standing between the past, between the future is the present. And then from here, thumbs point up, we inhale, bringing the wisdom of the past into the future, exhale. Inhale, straighten your front leg. So we pull back on the strings of the bow, open. And bend. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. and then bend the front knee. Palms face forward, thumbs up. Take a deep breath in as you reach around, gathering energy, and then exhale. Inhale, setting our sights on what we want to create for ourselves in the future, trusting that we have the power to manifest our heart's desires. So deep breath in and exhale. Inhale. And then we release the bow and the arrow, reaching towards our future goals one last time. Good. So we straighten that leg, toes point forward. Let's bring the palms to touch. Let's inhale as we reach the arms out. Open the heart. Exhale, draw the palms to touch, soften the chest. Again. One more time. Good, so you're gonna grab a wrist, reach your arms up to the sky, open the front of the body, so the hips gonna gently press a little forward, and then exhale as you bend forward, flatten your back as you lower yourself down for full body flow. Feel this wonderful stretch of your back. 
and legs. Soften your knees, curl your tailbone under, slowly roll up through your spine. As you do so, lift your arms up the front of your body, take a deep breath in, hips forward, open, and then exhale as you bend forward. So full body flow opens all the muscles and the joints in the body and encourages that circulation of energy throughout the entire body. Also balances that yin and yang energy in the body, this extension of the back and this flexion forward. Take your time. Let's do one more. And then we roll up through the spine. Arms lift up. And then the arms open out and down. 